Let's have a look what the weather forecast is for today. Currently 22, high of 29. That's quite warm, around two o'clock. Let's see if the tides match up. And high tide, around one. Yep, I definitely think it's paddle time. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to what can only be described as a perfect day on the water. The plan for today is head into a section of the Royal National Park, which is quite idle. So, meaning you can't access it on a low tide. Currently, I think it's about, let's have a look, 10.40. High tide is at about one. So it'll take me about 45 minutes to an hour to paddle there. So we'll be just getting to the start of it as that port area should start to become accessible. And obviously the tide's gonna keep filling. So we should be able to get right up to the end of that section. There is a little tiny waterfall, some uh, rocks, things like that. So uh, it's a nice little spot to stop and have, uh, have some food, got some snacks, and then paddle our uh, way out hopefully before the tide gets too low uh, it's going to turn into a hike rather than a paddle but uh anyway for now it's a good bit of paddling but can't complain on an absolutely stunning day like today Boat coming up behind me, it's creating a bit of a wake. We'll see if we can get some extra help from it. Quick little pit stop, have a drink of water, switch the camera around from the kayak over to the head mount. If I keep doing this, I really need to invest in uh, a second GoPro, but hell of a place to stop. All right, onwards we go.
Tira 9 where I can just stop a hyperlapse and talk normally and show you guys the view off to the side. And now switch it back into high collapse and keep on going. Fan bank, as you can see from the yellow uh, buoy over there. So in low tide, this is all actually exposed. So you can pretty much park the kayak up here and have your own little private beach because boats kind of don't go near here because it's a little bit too shallow. They're restricted. Um, over there by those markers, so it's come to high tide, so no private beach for now. But maybe on the way back, if we get the outgoing tide, it'll be a nice place to stop and have another swim. But yeah, really cool little spot. And um, back there, you've got your own little private bay as well. So very, very cool little spot. Anyway, uh, we are gonna turn right around this headland part here and head in that direction, so still a fair bit of paddling to go. Alright, here comes the big one. Check that thing out. That's going to create a pretty decent wake. Let's see if we can get a bit of a boost from that thing. Definitely missed the sweet spot, but there's a wave there. Whoa. That is a serious wake. Me so off guard, but I tell you what, this water is amazing. Check that out, it's like a little campsite. Probably the hike in, or even just uh, paddle in and just pull the uh, pull the kayak up. Very cool. All right, well, I am gonna keep on paddling and I'll catch you guys a little bit further down. So we've just entered the really tidal section of the paddle. During low tide, this would be pretty much all exposed, all sandbank. You can see it's reasonably shallow. We've got about an hour, an hour and a half to high tide. So it'll be a pretty comfortable paddle in. We should get all the way to the end and go for a swim, hopefully have some lunch. Maybe wait for the tide to start 
going out and catch you out going tired, but I'm definitely still conscious of the higher winds and potential rain and storm coming later this afternoon. So we'll see how we go, but at the moment, just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful paddle. I've said it before, but this is literally a perfect day for it. Check this place out. Obviously a few boats have gone through on the high tide. But I think I'm also just gonna pull the kayak up and chill out for a little bit. Unreal. Maybe over there on my little private rock. Perfect. All right, time for some food and a swim.
as you can see, I've started paddling back and it is the same paddle out as on the way in, so nothing new to see. So I think I'll just sign off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, do appreciate it. A like does help the channel if you've made it up to this point. And feel free to subscribe if you want to check out more adventures around Australia, also around New South Wales, and even more so close to Sydney. If you do have any questions on the paddle or gear or anything like that, do leave a comment down below. I do enjoy reading them, and it's always great to hear from you guys. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you then.